Yo guys, what's up? It's War Spirit, back today with some more Titanfall. I have been very busy these past couple of weeks. I handed in my final year project report for university on Monday, which was awesome. <laughs> well, awesome that I handed it in. It was not awesome working on it. I was I spent pretty much every day working on it for hours and hours. And uh, yeah, didn't have really any motivation to, to work on YouTube videos. When I wasn't working my, on my project, I'd be I'd be playing some Titanfall or something like that, just chilling out a little bit, I guess. So yeah, really busy. And this week as well, after Monday, I've been really busy with the, the ESL test cup for Titanfall. So that's been taking up a lot of my time, trying to organize my clan into some teams to represent us in the in the cup. At the last minute, it was, it was, it was messy. <laughs> it was messy organizing teams. We didn't have much time. There wasn't really a much notice about the the time for the cup and like when we had to be ready and stuff like that so I've not had much time myself to work on things which I want to spend time in. I still have exams for university in a couple of weeks so again that's going to be taking up a lot of my time but here I am today working on a YouTube video for Titanfall which is which is good so hopefully we can keep some videos coming out again over over the next few weeks and then once I'm done with uni I will be uh, looking for a job and, and a new place to live which will be exciting <laughs> I guess going going to interviews and stuff so we'll, we'll see how much free time I have then as well but there are a lot of videos which I do have planned and want to work on for Titanfall so I'll get round to things eventually stay tuned anyway guys they'll be coming they'll be coming so in this video I'm using the, the R97 SMG like I said I would get you guys a gameplay with the with the SMG one of the weapons which I think is probably the best in the game just because of its uh, sort of specialization. I like weapons which specialize in particular things and this SMG definitely specializes in close quarters combat which makes it super amazing. I'm using extended mags in this video. I, I have two of two classes with the R97. They're pretty much the exact same except one class is extended mags and one class is scatter fire. I use extended mags basically in, uh, in situations like this where I'm in pub servers and I can pretty much gun outgun most people without requiring the, the faster rate of fire and the faster time to kill. Um, but another reason for using scatter fire on my classes is if I'm up against shotgunners because scatter fire pretty much counters shotgunners easily. I would say R97 with scatter fire is a direct counter to shotgunners which is why I'm saying like a lot of people are saying shotguns OP in the game but I definitely don't think the shotgun is OP because there is a direct counter to it uh, I think people if they're shotgun haters they should just start using the R97 compact SMG instead of all those carbines out there because you're gonna get owned if you use the carbine against shotgunners um, unless you're picking them off out in the open the only problem with the R97 is you can't really go out in the open with it. It does require the same sort of playstyle as using shotgun. It's very bad at medium and long range. Uh, extended mags are slightly better at medium range, but still I would never really use it at medium range. I just use it close range all the time. That's where you want to use it. So don't go in the open with R97 or you won't really, I don't you won't be getting the, the full use out of your weapon. All you have to do is move around really fast and if you run around a corner into a shotgunner, chances are you can gun him down faster than he can get one shot off with the shotgun and what you want to do is try and dodge the first shot of the shotgun as well because if you if you dodge the first shot of the shotgun the shotgunner has no chance of killing you using the SMG which is actually really easy to do when you're up against shotgunners because you've got so much mobility using the SMG um, and you use stim and stuff with it as well lots of parkour with it there's nice hit fire on SMG so you're always moving really fast a lot of shotgunners can't really hit that sort of playstyle anyway with their shotguns which is nice so yeah SMG is a beast. It wasn't actually a favourite. The favourite SMG of mine to start with was the car SMG because it looked cool and it seemed more powerful. I wasn't very happy with the R97 SMG in the beta version of Titanfall but uh, after using the car SMG I guess I sort of got more used to the, the game and the aiming style because I mean when you switch between first person shooters they, they don't really feel the same. Like this game doesn't feel the same as Crisis. It doesn't have the same sort of aiming mechanics and stuff like that I guess you just have to get used to it and then basically when you switch between weapons you'll feel like you're getting much better 
at each weapon as you switch around them so I may go back to the car SMG as well at some point I've been using the R97 so much so maybe now if I go back to the car SMG it might be I might feel it's even better than what it was in like the first few weeks or release that I did use the car SMG so yeah I'll, I'll definitely try that again soon as well at some point um, and as you can see here I've started using the chain gun instead of the 40mm cannon that's basically because I, I'm i having a lot of success using the chain gun and using it against pilots. It's not too bad against Titans, although it's definitely not as good as a 40mm cannon against uh, Titans, but if you just aim for the critical hit spots you can get some nice damage off on Titans, although I wouldn't advise going one on one in a Titan fight, chain gun versus 40mm cannon or anything like that because you're going to get owned, so I definitely use it as a sort of duck and weave strider class hunting down enemy pilots and also there was other thing where the 40mm cannon got nerfed where they reduced the clip size of or the magazine size of the the 40mm cannon and including the, the extended mags magazine size so it did get a nerf as well and i haven't actually used it since the nerf because i've just been using the chain gun now and yeah having a lot of fun with the chain gun it's so good for shooting pilots out of the sky who are ejecting you're pretty much guaranteed a gooser kill every time a pilot ejects if you use the chain gun the only time you would miss that is if you were getting shot at by some sort of rocket or anti-titan weapon which messed up your aim or you had been EMP grenade or arc grenaded right before the guy ejected but gooser kills are definitely really easy with the 40 mil uh, not the 40 mil the chain gun <laughs> yeah the chain gun definitely so I mentioned the ESL Test Cup was this week, that was yesterday actually. It was really good, I really enjoyed it. On Wednesday night actually there was a community night before that where uh, we all hopped on the ESL Titanfall team speak and we discussed what sort of rules we would think would be suitable for the Test Cup. So there's lots of people there, lots of different clans and teams were there as well. So we got to meet everyone, kind of like that. And I guess we decided on some rules, there were some opinions which people made there which I didn't really agree with. like. For a test cup, I would say you would want to have as a small amount of limitations as possible. So like going into it, I would say the only things which would need banned from competitive right now would be burn cards and satchel charges. Satchel charges because they are incredibly overpowered in the game right now and I think most people know that. I was really expecting a satchel charge nerf in the last patch. They nerfed the 40 mil cannon and buffed the uh, quad rocket but they didn't really change anything else. I was really expecting a satchel charge nerf. They really need to add sort of, some sort of delay or some sort of visual indication that there is a satchel charge coming towards you and reduce the blast radius as well. I mean it's just so strong on in like every situation it is really strong. So those were my preferred bands for competitive and honestly I could have played with absolutely every, every other thing being allowed in competitive but um, in the end there was like a sort of majority vote that smart pistols should be banned from competitive. I don't see them being useful in competitive because I guess good players can outgun smart pistol users easily enough um, but people said oh smart pistols are stupid anyway so let's just ban them which is not something I agree with just because a weapon is stupid or I don't know it doesn't I mean you would ban something if it was super OP and it sort of breaks gameplay and smart pistol doesn't really do that yes it's super annoying in public servers when you get killed by a noob who's sitting cloaked in a corner lines up and you have no idea he's there and smart pistols you but I mean it, it's not a problem really as far as I'm concerned for competitive players. The other thing which I was very surprised about was the banned active radar pulse which is the thing that lets you see through walls and uh, obviously people on PC uh, in the PC community don't like things like wall hacks which allow you to see through walls and stuff but uh, active radar pulse wasn't really a thing I would suggest for getting banned because there isn't really a way you can monitor if someone is using that or not. Like the, there's no sort of there's no sort of way you can set servers so you, so certain weapons or anything are banned. Like all this has to be monitored, and if someone breaks the rules, like uses a burn guard or something, it needs to be screenshotted and sent to ESL admins so the other team forfeits them. If someone's using active radar pulse, there's no way you can tell unless he uses active radar pulse during a kill cam. Like he kills you while using active radar pulse. That's the only way you'll be able to tell. They banned it anyway, so I hope no one was using Active Radar Pulse in the ESL Cup, being a little secretive ninja with it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's not another ban that I would have said needed enforced. There was actually one other thing, which we actually agreed in the community tonight to ban the match trigger. The match trigger is an attachment for the G2A4, which allows you to fire the weapon as fast as you can click. And the reason for banning this 
Uh, isn't because the, attach the attachment itself is broken, it's because people could exploit it by setting up a macro to make their mouse pretty much rapid fire and empty the empty the G2A4 clip instantly, so they can pretty much use G2A4s as if it was a shotgun, running around pressing their macro key, emptying the entire clip into a guy and just pretty much one-shotting him, so that's why we wanted that banned, but they ended up not banning that, like, they, I guess they forgot to ban it, I, I reminded them on the farms and stuff, saying you forgot to ban the match trigger, that's like the only thing that's an actual exploit that could be used in the game, like, so, like it's the only thing that definitely needed banned um, as an exploit, but they didn't ban that, so... Hopefully they'll ban that in future in case anyone does decide to exploit macros in Titanfall. But yeah, overall, we played the Test Cup and we and Sith put in four teams because we wanted to try and show as much support for the tournament as possible. Obviously if we only submitted one team there wouldn't be as many teams in the tournament. We wanted to try and get as many people involved as possible to give them a little taste of competitive uh, Titanfall since it was a Test Cup. And I mean winning doesn't really matter. although. Uh, we did. My uh, my main team in Sith, we tried to put together a really amazing team for it. We didn't get much practice in. I spent like three hours yesterday trying to organize all the Sith teams. There was like 20 of us. I had to tell people individually um, where they had to be and what they had to do and where to sign up for ESL and everything like this. So I didn't have any practice time really before. I had like half an hour warm up before our first match, which was... Uh, which was pretty bad I guess, but we won the first two rounds. We beat the first two teams that our main team played against and then um, we came up against uh, a pretty hard team who were specialising in hardpoint domination and hardpoint domination is not a mode that I play so we kind of got outplayed there but the, I mean the tournament was one round of capture the flag and one round of hardpoint domination so you have to be good at both and what this team's strategy was uh, was to go super heavy defence and capture the flag so that they could just force a draw on capture the flag and then they won the hardpoint domination round because they were a hardpoint domination team while we were a capture the flag team and then they advanced to the next round with only one win out of the two so I mean we got out strategized <laughs> in that round in the quarterfinals but um, overall the first two rounds were really good so I'm looking forward to a uh, capture the flag ladder or capture the flag only cup in ESL and I hope that people don't switch the rules up too much or enforce or try and enforce too many rules like there were so many people bitching after the tournament people from like Call of Duty background saying that Titan should be banned in Titanfall and I I don't understand how people can fucking say that shit like seriously there's people like with a lot of competitive backgrounds saying that Titan should be banned in Capture the Flag and I really hope that ESL does not listen to these type of people because they're they're just bad at Titanfall. That's that's all I can think of. When they say let's ban Titans from Titanfall, it just makes me think, wow, you guys must be really fucking bad at this game if you don't know how to um, strategize or maneuver a team of Titans and stuff like that to how to outplay a group of Titans. It's not hard. If if you call in a, a Titan, they can get focused down so fast with a with an organized team. They go down so fast. And I really hope that Titans do not get limited or banned in any way from ESL matches. Otherwise. Personally for me, competitive Titanfall is dead if they ban Titans. And other things we're saying were like banning arc mines and banning arc grenades. And that would mean there would be only frag grenades left in the game. And can you imagine a 6v6 with only frag grenades? That's 12 grenades per team with the option to add more through your kits flying across the map. Pretty much for the entire game. I would say that's a lot of a worse experience than having arc grenades and arc mines on your team. Because arc grenades are so useful in Titan fights. If you haven't been using arc grenades or anything like that, you should definitely consider putting arc grenades on your class. Obviously most people are using satchel charges because they're super OP, but if respawn does eventually nerf satchel charges, then you should give arc grenades a shot because basically all you do is chuck an arc grenade at a titan, shoot it with your anti-titan weapon, chuck another arc grenade at the, the titan, shoot it some more with your anti-titan weapon and that titan's dead because it couldn't really react because it had no idea what was going on because it was blinded for the entire fight. Yeah, a, a lot of a lot of bitching and stuff in ESL competitive as expected but uh, overall I really enjoyed it and and I think it was good so we'll see what happens next for competitive Titanfall I hope I hope it all goes smoothly and I hope it all goes the way that I want it to go <laughs> uh, so that's the end of the match guys I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background there let me know below in the comments what you think about the uh, the ESL competitive rules and what your thoughts are on Titans and Titanfall oh my god who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, there is a there is a survey for the ESL Test Cup for feedback on it, and I think 
people should fill out and say do not limit Titans on it because for people who are going to watch competitive Titanfall as well it's really important. Do you guys want to watch pilots running around with no Titans or do you guys also want com to watch competitive Titan battles as well in Capture the Flag? So I will leave a link to the survey in the description below and make sure you click that do not limit Titans in competitive Titanfall button at least and that would be really awesome if you guys could do that because then there's no chance if we all vote for that that ESL are going to ban Titans. And hey, if any of you guys are looking for competitive teams for Titanfall, or you're looking to get into competitive Titanfall, get in touch with me, get in touch with our clan. We could have five or even six teams at the next ESL Cup, and that would be awesome. So again, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.